you know you've got the skills and you're ready to take your passion for your sport to the next level. But to play college sports and have your shot at a college national championship, there are a few things you need to take care of first. You see, every first time NAIA student athlete needs to register with the NAIA Eligibility Center. Luckily, it's easy to get signed up. Step one is to create your profile. Head to playnaia.org. From the homepage, you'll click here. Then tell us a little about yourself by completing the form. We'll need to confirm your email address, and then you can continue the rest of the registration process. We'll need to know how to get in touch with you, what sports you play, and where you've lived since starting high school. Oh, and if you want text alerts about your eligibility status, give us your cell number too. Next, you'll pay a small registration fee. But don't worry, fee waivers are available to students based on need. Check out the student section of playnaia.org for all the details on fee waivers. This registration fee lets the NAIA go to work for you and connects you directly with NAIA coaches. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Once your payment is received, it's time to tell your story. We'll walk you through step by step to build your custom profile. Tell us about your academic background and all sports experiences. Give us a full picture of everything you've been doing since high school. Check your work, hit submit, and your info is on its way to the NAIA Eligibility Center. That's it. That's step one, your personal registration. Step two is making sure we receive your ACT or SAT test scores. If you're a high school student, be sure to put us on the list of places where you want your score sent when you register for the SAT or ACT. The NAIA number is 9876. The test scores have to come straight from the testing service. We can't take them off transcripts. So get those numbers on the list when you sign up for the SAT or ACT. Remember, 9876. Step three is making sure we get all your transcripts. Ask your high school and every college you've attended to send an official transcript. If you are in high school, ask your high school guidance counselor to send an official transcript after high school graduation. The NAIA only needs one transcript to make your determination, so don't have your school send a transcript before you graduate. Actually, there's one exception, an early decision in high school. If you qualify for an early decision, have your high school send official transcripts after your junior year or after your first semester of your senior year and we'll get you an early decision before you graduate. Go to playnaia.org for more information about early decisions. If you're transferring from another college, we need all your official transcripts from high school, all your colleges, summer college classes, online classes, or even dual credit classes sent straight to us, no middleman. Just have the registrars send the official version directly to the NAIA Eligibility Center. Mm, that's pretty much how it works. Register, send test scores and all transcripts, and we'll take it from there. If you want to know your status at any point along the way, just log into your profile and check your to-do list. This will also be the place where you can see if we're still missing something from you or one of your schools. We'll let you know when we've got your decision wrapped up, and we'll send you and the schools recruiting you a report that details your eligibility status. See? Tell me that wasn't easy. Just make sure you get on board early to avoid the last minute rush. Are you interested in connecting with NAIA coaches and letting them know you're ready to play? This next part's for you, and it's free. NAIA Connections lets you create an online resume, your academic and athletic accomplishments, and any other highlights you want to include. When you're finished, you can send your resume straight to the coach and admissions office at up to five NAIA schools. Our schools can also use NAIA Connections to search all the resume students have entered and contact you directly if they want. And if you already know what school you plan to attend, you don't have to create a sport resume. It's completely up to you. If a school is really interested in you as a recruit, they will add you to their shortlist. Only registered students can be added to a shortlist, and students on a shortlist get top priority of receiving eligibility decisions. So that's basically it. If there's anything else you want to know, swing on over to playnaia.org and take a look, and we'll see you on the playing field.